Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. This is Ridhavan and today our topic of discussion is a question on statistics which is given such that the sample variance is not an unbiased estimator of population variance. This is what we have to prove. So for this at first we need to learn or rather know the formula for sample variance. So we know that sample variance we are denoting sample variance with uh, the initials SV throughout the problem. So it is given by 1 by n summation xi minus x bar whole square where i runs from 1 to n. This is the formula for sample variance. Let us name this equation number 1. We also have another estimate which is named as s squared. This is something we have to remember. However, it is not that tough to to remember s square which is given by 1 by n minus 1 here in this case we had n and in s square we have 1 by n minus 1 and the rest is as it is we have written summation i 1 to n x i minus x bar whole square this is our equation number 2 so these are the two formulas which we have to initially remember now our target is to show that s square is a bar is an unbiased estimate we need to show that s square is an unbiased estimate of the population variance with the help of which we will show that sample variance is not an unbiased estimate so what is our target let us at first draw the flow chart which would help us to better understand our uh, targets of the process through which we need to go so at first we would show that s square is unbiased estimate now taking the help of this we will show that this sample variance is not an unbiased estimate so our first target is to show that s square is unbiased estimate second case we will take the help of this third case we will show that sample variance is not an unbiased estimate now let us move further so first thing which we need to prove to prove S square is an unbiased estimate. Okay, estimate I am uh, writing in initials. You can write estimator in full spelling as well. So for this, what we actually need to show is that expectation of S square equals to sigma square. If we are able to show this, then S square is said to be the unbiased estimate. Now, what we have from this formula s square equals to 1 by n minus 1 summation xi minus x bar whole square we put n minus 1 to the left so from 2 we have n minus 1 s square equals to summation i running from 1 to n xi minus x bar whole square now let us take expectation on both sides so expectation n minus 1 s square equals expectation summation i 1 to n x i minus x bar whole square fine now we would add a small term a constant rather 1 to n say here we are adjusting say we are taking x i minus mu plus mu minus x bar whole square okay no problem with this just we have added a constant we have rather adjusted with a constant so i running from 1 to n we having here x i minus mu minus of x bar minus mu whole square yes now this is a minus b whole square form let us break this, mm, this is s expectation summation i equals to 1 to n x i minus mu whole square minus 2 equals to 1 to n x i minus mu multiplied by x bar minus mu plus summation i equals to 1 to n x 
span minus mu whole square fine now we will adjust this part xi minus mu or rather say summation of xi minus mu for this we know that x bar minus mu equals 1 by n summation i equals to 1 to n xi minus mu hence what will be the summation of xi minus mu this n will get to get in here okay so we will substitute summation i equals 1 to n xi minus mu with n x bar minus mu so this is what we already had in the last page i am rewriting it in here so that you can better relate with it and this part we have already got as uh, n x bar minus mu so we would substitute this left hand side part remains unchanged okay so we need not necessarily worry about it we are writing the right hand side so to 1 to n xi minus mu whole square this will become n into x bar minus mu which would become uh, 2n x bar minus mu whole square 2n x bar minus mu whole square and since this is a constant x bar is also a constant mu is also a constant so constant minus constant is obviously a constant so this will become n n x bar minus mu whole square now what does this give us we are left with i equals 1 to n xi minus mu whole square this becomes minus n x bar minus mu whole square fine now we would just separate these expectations uh, so in here we would have expectation summation i equals 1 to n xi minus mu whole square minus expectation of n x bar minus mu whole square in case of expectation we have the property that summation can shift to the left and we would be left with expectation of xi minus mu whole square n being a constant can also shift to the left and e we were left with x bar minus mu whole square okay now expectation of xi minus mu whole square is a formula for variance of xi this is given as variance of xi and summation will run as it is from 1 to n minus x bar minus mu whole square if xi minus mu whole square is the formula for v of xi then x bar this is just replaced with x bar it will obviously be the formula for v of x bar isn't it so now we know summation i1 to n v of xi gives n sigma square and this will be n as it is v of x bar means sigma square by n So n and n here gets cancelled. We are left with n, uh, sorry, sigma square n minus 1. So what we are having, we already had in the left hand side in here, expectation of n minus 1 s square. So this actually gives us expectation n minus 1 s square equals to sigma square n minus 1 n minus 1 is a constant it can undoubtedly shift to the left e of s square equals to sigma square n minus 1 n minus 1 n minus 1 gets cancelled we have expectation of s square equals to sigma square hence this is an unbiased estimator s is an unbiased estimator of population variance So our first target is completed. Now let us get back to the target. We have already proved that S square is unbiased estimate. Now we would take its help. Take its help and show that it is not an unbiased estimate. We already had in here the formulas for the sample variance and S square. Okay. So we would just divide 1 and 2. Fine. Target 2. Our second target. is to find relation between sample variance and s square. 
so we are doing 1 divided by 2 we have sample variance by s square equals this would give us n minus 1 by n into summation xi minus what we had here yes xi minus x bar whole square by xi minus x bar whole square you can recheck the formula uh, and perform this that would be easier to understand this is sure shot giving us this so we have sample variance equals n minus 1 by n into s square now from here comes our target 3 that is to show that sample variance is not an unbiased estimate so this was the expression we have got okay now we take expectation of on both side expectation of sample variance equals expectation of n minus 1 by n s square this is given as expectation of uh, say 1 minus 1 by n s square this can be further broken down into s square minus s square by n again let us bifurcate it expectation of s square minus expectation of s square by n expectation of s square 1 by n is a constant shifts to the left we have s square so expectation of s square we have already got in from here that expectation of s square equals sigma square so if we put that in here we have sigma square minus 1 by n sigma square sigma square in common 1 minus 1 by n and but this gives us the expectation of sample variance. Expectation of sample variance. Hence, it is not an unbiased estimate because, in order to be an unbiased estimate, the expectation in order, so we write it in here, in order to be an unbiased estimate we needed to have expectation of sample variance equals to sigma square but we have got the expression that expectation of sample variance equals to sigma square to 1 minus 1 by n this is an extra term hence it is not an unbiased estimate Therefore, expectation of sample variance is a biased estimate. So this is our proof done and dusted.